What up you guys? Okay, so welcome. Uh, I wanted to quickly talk to you about how to practice when you only have a little bit of time, okay? So how to practice with little time. Now, the thing is, there's like, I've seen so many people complaining that they don't have enough time, especially with modern days, everybody's so busy. You don't have six hours a day to put in your jogging training or four hours or even one hour. So, and this was on one of those days that you just want to go to train. You go there, but you only have a little bit of time. So should you train or not? My answer is yes, you should always train. You should always do something. So what to do when you only have a little bit of time? Choose one thing. Okay, so and, and again, it depends how much actually time you have. So, like for instance, if you only have one hour, you love to train for three hours, but you only have one hour, you can still train, you can still do a good training session. Or, if you only have 15 minutes, can you still do a good training session? Yes. Okay, so you gotta, it, it depends on your skills and on the time that you actually have. But, so this is the thing in general so choose one thing okay so you gotta choose one thing that you're gonna focus on now the one thing can be it can be a lot of things but first let's go into this so warm-up I want to talk warm-up first so do you need to warm up with only a short amount of practice this is a good question because it depends what you're gonna do okay so if the tricks that you want to work focus on if it's like like the seven clubs yeah, you need to warm up. You need to really warm up. So you need to um, you need to see the tricks that you want to do, what you want to focus on, what is that one thing that you want to focus on, and how much warm up does it need. Okay. So if you only have a little bit of time, you don't want to do anything that requires a lot of warm up because that's going to spend a lot of your time. So what you can do is you can choose something that is less technically demanding for you. Okay. So. So the warm-up, you have to think about it. What you're gonna do and how much warm-up that requires and put it in the time that you have. So if you have two hours time and you're gonna do something that requires 15, half an hour warm-up, sure, do it. But if you only have 15 minutes of time, you wanna do something that requires almost no warm-up, okay? You can just shake your body for 30 seconds, one minute and go. So it depends what you wanna do, okay? And your skill level. So when you have less, less and less time, you want to choose something that is less and less technically difficult for you, that you can do much easier to get the benefit out of the jumping training, okay? So then, the one prop, the, what you can choose, okay? <laughs> so choose one thing, what they can be. For instance, you can do one prop. So you just choose, okay, today I'm gonna to focus the rings, just on rings. And again, it depends how much time you have. If you have less time, you may want to choose like only three rings on the rings, okay? See what I mean? Or if you have a much, much longer time, you can choose, let's say clubs or balls. But usually just try to focus on one thing, like one prop, or this is one way to do it. Or you can choose technique. So let's say you just couldn't focus on drawing techniques for like for the seven balls. So just focus on the technique, so just you go with three, or first with one, with three, with four, five, six, all the way up to the seven, or whatever is technique you're working on. If it's a uh, back crosses, you can focus really on your back crosses, okay? And then, so you can choose a technique, and you just work with that technique on so for the time that you have. One trick, so you can choose a trick that you want to work on, and the trick can be uh, some combination trick, or it can be uh, like a side swap or like a 43 different variations or you can just be one trick like five club back crosses or seven clubs now again all of these things like what's the one thing that you can choose on how much warm-up that's gonna take because for me i choose uh, like one day i wanted to i only have 30 minutes of time and i want to juggle seven clubs now for me seven clubs is still too difficult to do in that time I need to do it a lot. I need to do a long warm up for that. I need to do a lot of technical training for that. And I need to have my training consistent for me to improve a lot with my seven clubs. Now, seven clubs didn't go that well, but the technical exercises. So for me, doing the seven clubs was too hard, but what I can do in a short amount of time is to focus on the technical trainings, like with three and four and five clubs to do those exercises for the seven. 
and not so much focus actually juggling with seven clubs, but to do those exercises for the center. Okay, so that was more beneficial for me at this point at least in my training. So what else? So yeah, just, just choose the one trick and go for it. And remember, when you have a short amount of time, don't expect to get that trick better, okay? But focus on the steps to make it to there. Like I said, with the seven clubs, I had more beneficial with doing the exercises with the three and the four and the five for that seven club. Or you can do a creating material. So you can just focus on creating new tricks. So you have 20 minutes time, you don't even do warm up, you just take your three clubs and just try to do something new, okay? Now, it may seem like there's not enough time, but you keep doing this, you keep practicing this, and you will have more and more uh, skill to do faster everything, okay? And the idea is you can still be, you can still do a um, successful training session, even with just a little bit of time, if you know what you're doing. So you don't have to always spend four hours in the gym training. You can still get very beneficial time with just a short amount of time. Like, I remember this when I was in Ukraine, in Kiev, studying circus, like juggling technique. There was this one guy who came in and he only had like, everybody practices four hours a day, okay? So he came, I think it was like 15 minutes before the school ends. And he still came like, ah, oh, fuck it, I'm gonna train. And this was a dude who does like triple pirouettes and nine balls on stage and stuff like this. So what he did, he came in, and he only did three ball periods. Just periods with three balls, okay? Just took three balls, few flashes, and then just one period. And double periods and triple periods. And then all these like uh, two stage, three stage periods. So even with only 15 minutes of time, and that's including like he changed in his train clothes, he still made a beneficial training. And he was like, yeah, that was good training. So because he knew his, he, his goal was not to learn new tricks or get new records, stuff like this. Okay, made an endurance run. So his goal was just to practice a little bit of that technique because he knew just making those like good throws, good techniques, put you like a step by step, slowly improve your overall technique. Okay, so he knew that just doing those three ball pirouettes when he does we, we really focus on them with good technique it will improve his technique with five and nine and seven and whatever okay but the point is of all of this how to practice with little time you can do very successful practice sessions with only a little bit of time just gotta choose one thing how much warm-up you need for the thing and would like to do your warm-up don't take too much of your training time so you have to know how much you have training time and you can choose basically whatever the thing that you want to do, okay? So, but choose one thing and try to really focus on that because you can have very beneficial training sessions even with a little bit of time. So, hopefully that helps and this is the one of maybe the biggest thing. Know what you're gonna do before you go to the gym, okay? So if you only have half an hour and you go there and you spend the first 10 minutes like, uh, I don't know what I'm gonna do, if it's gonna be good. So that is most of the things that will take up your time, not knowing what you're gonna do. So know what you're gonna do before you go in, and then you can just pounding all those minutes and you can just use every second that you have for the training. Okay, hopefully this will give you some information and some new things to do. Hopefully it will save you a lot of time and give you that progress that you want. Cool, thanks for watching and I'll see you later. Shut.